But I'll tell you this, having seen Al Qaeda in Iraq, and then by the time I left military, ISIS, it morphed into ISIS. Was, these are brutal people. But what I saw with Hamas, that was a level of brutality that, that I've never seen before. When you're beheading infants, uh, when you're doing things um, against elderly and what they were doing, uh, this is barbarism. Uh, this is, these are animals and what they're doing. And Israel has every right to fight back. They have every right to defend themselves against that. And you're going to start hearing a media, United Nations, left-wingers, all this. They're going to start to blame Israel for what is happening. And first of all, if, if you look at how many people have already been reported dead, Israel's a small country. If that same proportion was killed in a terrorist attack in the United States, that'd be the equivalent of like 50,000 Americans in a terror. Could you imagine? I mean, 9-11 was 3,000. Can you imagine if we had 50,000? No one would have ever seen anything like that. So this is a massive, massive attack. They can't just sit there. They've got to go in. Uh, and they've got to end Hamas. They've got to re take all the infrastructure, destroy everything, and destroy Hamas once and for all. That's what they have to do just to defend themselves. But what they're going to start saying is, oh, it's Israel's fault, it's Israel's fault. Israel is telling people in the Gaza Strip to leave the areas that they're telling them they're going to go in and conduct operations on. Hamas is telling those people to stay so that they're used as human shields. That is Hamas's fault if they're killed. It is not Israel's fault if they are killed. You're now starting to hear some people on the left say that if people, Palestinian Arabs, uh, are leaving Gaza, that the United States should bring in potentially hundreds of thousands of people from Gaza. I can tell you this, as president, uh, the number of people we will bring in from Gaza is zero. We are not going to do that. You have all these Arab countries. They should be absorbing uh, those folks. Egypt, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Lebanon, Morocco, all those countries should be doing it. There should not be bringing to the United States of America. So that's not going to happen. And we've got to get smart about what we're doing in this country. I mean, I don't know if you saw, as soon as news came out about the atrocities being committed, there were people in our own country taking to the streets to praise Hamas, to support what Hamas is doing. How does that happen? You have students at places like Harvard, they're signing letters saying how great this is for Hamas and everything. That is a sickness in this society. But that shows you, you know, when we're talking about, and I'll talk about the border in a minute, but nobody has a right to come to this country. If you try to come to this country, even if it's legal, if you don't like this country, if you don't support our values, you should not be let into this country. So what this attack has, I think, focused us on is, one, need to stand by Israel. People say, like, U.S. can vote. It's not our war. It's their war. They fight their own wars. They've got a good defense. We need to just have the moral clarity and support that they have the right to see this through. And that's the main role for us. And we have a defense relationship. We provide them with different things. And that's fine. And we'll do that. But ultimately, that's that. But I think what it has has raised the, the issue for a lot of people, and I've been talking about this before this happened, but our own border makes us vulnerable to terrorist attacks. I've been predicting this before this even happened with Hamas, that there will be a terrorist attack. I hope I'm wrong, but like, what are the mathematical odds? You've had over 7 million people come. Even if 99% of them are perfect citizens or perfect humans, 1%, that's 70,000 people. And we know there's a lot more that have come in because we know Russia sent people, China, Iran, Middle East, all those places have had people come in. So there will, none of them are vetted. Nobody knows who they are. So you are going to have, unfortunately, I think, at one point, a terrorist attack in this country that's going to be traced back to the open border. So uh, we've had enough of this. Uh, when I'm president on day one, we're going to declare the border to be a national emergency.
We are going. We're going to marshal all available resources, including our U.S. military, and we are going to put them on the southern border. We're going to stop the invasion cold. And when people come illegally, when I'm president, I'm sending them back to where they came from.